How much faster is one blade versus another? The mailman delivered our package just in time for the Blade Shootout. Tech Talk. Hello, FPV tree racers. A fair race is one where the equipment is the same. Racers tip, if at all possible, try to create a racing specification. Realistically, that's hard to do as everyone has their own unique equipment. And that leads us to the next racers tip. Handicap the time based on different equipment. And for more on handicapping, we turn to the race professor. When an Italian Ferrari races a German Volkswagen, that is not a race. That is an exhibition. Creating a racing spec creates a level playing field. But that is not always possible. That is why creating a handicapping system can be very useful. Let's look at an example. One racer has six inch props. Very fast machine indeed. Second racer, he only has a frame for five inch props. So he is 20% slow because of that limitation. To make it a level playing field, we need the handicapping system. If we take the average lap time, we multiply it by the number of laps of the race, and then we take the propeller handicap. We get a 16 second handicap. This will not only make the race fair, but it will make it... Excellent advice from the race professor. We did a little digging into the professor's past, and man, he was some crazy college kid back at MIT. That's Munich Institute of Technology. Most mini quads fly the same 3S battery and 2400 kV motor setups. So, the only thing left to handicap are the propellers. There are three universal truths about propellers. Blades are faster because number one, they're longer, number two, there's more pitch, and number three, they're made out of a stiffer material like a carbon composite. So, we went out and purchased nine different blade types to handicap. Our Tesla was your typical 260 mini quad. It was a flip 260 frame, a KK 2.1.5 flashed with RC911 software, Cobra 2204 2300 KV motors. We used Glacier 1300 MA batteries, 30C rating, 3S. In order to have a useful and consistent result, we must have the propellers spinning at the same speed for each and every test. To do this, we walk backwards. We start with a light bulb, which is measured in volts, and multiply it by the motor, which is measured in kV, which is revolutions per volt. A light bulb has a lot of power in the first 15% of its time. But as it goes on, it drops and drops until ultimately it falls off a cliff. So rather than making three passes with the same lipo, it is better to use one pass per lipo and run multiple batteries. That'll make our results, you guessed it, Wunderbar! So let's start our test. Our field was 400 feet long, calm day, and we changed our throttle curve to be 85% at any stick movement over half. We did two runs per prop, each run got a fresh battery. All the blades were manufactured by HQ Prop. The first blades tested were 6 inch in length and 4.5 pitch, carbon composite mix. With a 5.13, they were the fastest set of the nine we tested. The second set was still a 6x4.5, but this time it was a glass composite, not the carbon composite. Not surprisingly, it was the second fastest blade we tested. So the first truth remains intact. A stiffer composite is faster. In this case, the carbon composite was 15% faster than the glass composite. Next up was the 5x4 triple blade glass composite. It finished third with a 6.43. In fact, the 5x4x3 glass composite actually beat out the 6x3 blade, both glass and the carbon composite. Amazing! We knock an inch off now. Next up, the 5x4s. And we all know carbons are faster than glass composites, and the 5x4s here are no exception. They run a 7.14. Same blade is up next, just a different composite. This is the fiberglass. It should be slower than a 7.14, and it is... What? A 6.9? What is going on? In the 5x4 prop, the glass composite was actually 5% faster? Let's see what happens on the 5x3s. The 5x3 carbon composites clock in at a 907, which is slower than their 5x3 counterparts. 
But at an 8.74, the 5x3 glass composites beat the carbon composites. This is not only amazing, it's astounding, and it defies one of the truths we've been led to believe. Is everything we've ever learned about blade technology a lie? What is this, TMZ? We were so shocked by this result that we went out and redid the entire test in a different field on a different day all over again. And guess what? The results were exactly the same. HQ Prop's 5-inch glass composites were faster than their carbon composite counterparts. Let's take a moment to look at how this data can be used for handicapping. Say you're running a 5x3 carbon composite and your buddy is running a 6x4.5 carbon composite. That's a time differential of 3.94 seconds. Say you're going to do a 3 minute race which is 180 seconds. We take 9.07 and divide it into 180 which equals 20 times. So we take 20 times the differential 3.94 and that gives you an 80 second handicap. Remember, if you don't handicap, it's not a race, it's an exhibition. Let's summarize some of the takeaways from our blade shootout. Racer's tip, add a 15% handicap for every one degree of blade pitch. Racer's tip number two, add a 15% handicap for every one inch of blade length. And a couple more of our favorite racer tips, always fly a predefined course, and always, always, always time your runs. Now, use this comparison data for your next race to create a level playing field. Now, go light it up. Hey, Captain Greg here, and I need a favor. We need your help to spread the word on FPV racing. Give us a like, share the video, and of course, if you like what you see, subscribe.